Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be analyzing another deck from top 10 finishers and today we're gonna be covering Boom Arena Fanboys Brute Mother Devil deck. It has long short, it has pump. I believe I've done some tutorial on how to build a very well working deck and it was uh, containing Brute and Mana Pump. This deck looks very similar, like you've seen it uses two small spells instead of small spell and big spell. It uses a trick card in terms of heal tiny, probably to keep alive the mother devil. Very good choice. And a super devil as a solitary air defense. So all the premises have been fulfilled. And I'm gonna be trying to play some games with this deck and rate how good it is in practice. And we're in game number one. Obviously, this, this deck's purpose is to overwhelm. Like... This is without a dub the purpose of the deck. You want to just get uh, a mana advantage and after all win the, win the game. Obviously it's not the way that I want it to go because this heal tiny would have been way better than, than a bullets. But it is what it is. We're gonna play long sword on these two troops to finish them off. And to force a response, any response is still hammer, so we will be able to kill it with a help of a tower, oh, that is. And we will be able to take the mana lead very early on. He will be playing runners, which usually would be a bad sign. But it's actually very fine, because we can already counter push out of this, out of these runners. But I actually will let this brute die and will pump again. So I'm gonna play another mana pump. Right now we will be having a lot of mana advantage. And if he doesn't add anything to this piercing archer, I'm gonna just be playing a mother devil in the back. And that should be a very big push that my opponent will be very likely uh, unable to stop. I'm gonna be playing some more troops like Longster. Unfortunately, my mother devil did turn, so that was a little bummer. There's nothing I can do about that though. I could have spelled it, but yeah. The push is still rolling. There's absolutely no problem with my attack. I'm gonna add another brute in case my first one will die. Mother devil still alive. Mana pumps are definitely paying for themselves and that's gonna be game number one and the way how to absolutely demolish people with this playstyle. Against better players though it's gonna be a, a bit more difficult because uh, our, our recent opponent was having 4 medals so it was relatively easy to just get him outplayed. Right now we have an 800 metal opponent who's gonna start with Super Devil ourselves so we're gonna be playing a heal tiny in order to potentially uh, not lose uh, in the um, in the air battle. I'm gonna play Brute in the back, just account for this uh, T-Rex and if he's not gonna support it, it's gonna be a very good thing for us to play. Right now uh, he's gonna actually abandon his T-Rex so we're gonna support this Brute. Usually a Viking is a bad matchup for us but I don't mind it really much, especially that we have a longsword behind a brute, and this longsword will put in work, hopefully. We're gonna get rid of this viking as planned, and our mother devil will still bring some value. It's gonna uh, force out a super devil, which is absolutely fabulous option, and right now we're gonna just be playing mana collector, obviously. Uh, trying to get to 10 mana first because if he tries to uh, play some aggressive things at the bridge it's gonna be very hard for us to defend if we were to be lower on mana. He's gonna wait though so it looks like we have had a mana advantage before so we're gonna be playing Brute against this Dark Knight. If he adds Viking we have seen what can happen if that um, if that's the case. We're gonna be playing Mother Devil after a short delay and we're gonna add a Super Devil to get rid of this uh, Dark Knight and after that we're gonna be playing Longsword to just fasten the process and with that being said we have actually already a very decent push. If we don't lose this long, okay we, we lost this Longsword so it's probably gonna be a hold for him but nothing's, nothing's lost. 
we're gonna kite this Viking to the other side and since he has used a flying bomb it's gonna mean that we will have some tools to uh, be aggressive right now and we're gonna be aggressive this Dark Knight will fall very shortly I'm gonna play another Brood just to force out way more uncomfortable responses for him I'm gonna kill this Necromancer so he doesn't spawn a lot of apes and one ape will get spawned but the Brute we've played before will be a threat and he's gonna be playing Bomb Tower in the last second so he's surviving just uh, just by a tiny bit we're in a very good position we are in the position to call the shots and that's absolutely the position that you want to be in against this heavy of a deck there are very huge chances that he's gonna be playing Viking on the same line and that's where we're gonna just counter play on the opposite side. It may sound counterintuitive, but it's very high tier move actually. Mm. Provided we don't lose in the process. So Dark Knight will get some damage. Actually he's kinda coming back so this move didn't work for us. We're gonna be forced to play on the same line again. So actually, I've made a little mistake, I should have just kept going on the same lane because he pretty much cannot stop it. This Necromancer will die, Brute will connect, and that's gonna be very easy, I mean, I kinda made it harder, but it was a relatively easy game against a pretty uh, hard matchup, I would say. If he were to play correctly, I think he would have an advantage. As a general rule of thumb though, I think uh, Viking is very good choice against this particular deck. Uh, meanwhile, um, Dark Knight? I don't think so. Dark Knight was like a walking barrel that just gave me positive mana trades over and over again, so I was happy every time he was playing Dark Knight, but not so as much when he played Viking. And we're gonna be facing another Viking, so we're gonna be playing a super devil and then we're gonna be trying to kite his viking with a brute i think we're gonna get one more mana right okay it, it was way too late to stop this longsword that will fake a shot for whatever reason unfortunately it's still the part of the game that uh, troops can attack the dead troops and in this case they will just waste their attack i'm gonna play a blitz on this can wheel i could have targeted the tower as well but well i was too slow on that and i think we are in a very solid uh, position we're gonna be playing another mana pump and right now we're gonna just outproduce our opponent he's gonna be playing bomberman but this bomberman yeah we, we can just ignore that we can even ignore this phone hort this sounds counterintuitive but uh, we're gonna get a huge mana advantage after these two plays and with that advantage I think we'll be officially able to win the uh, game because there's absolutely nothing he can do. This uh, machine gun was very likely uh, placed at zero mana so I'm gonna... okay, there, there's there's another one, actually it wasn't played at zero mana since he had uh, a mana for another one, but that's gonna be pretty much the game over because right now I don't believe he has any mana to stop that and <laughs> I would absolutely love to know the way that he would stop that push even with full mana and that's pretty much the way how to play this deck. I'm gonna show one more game because this was very quick. And the game will be against Tiny PP, who is almost top uh, 1000 again, which is very nice score for him. Uh, un unfortunately, I should revert the order. You can stop the full skeleton keck when you blitz it and then play something to kill skeletons. So next time I'll just revert the order and be perfect. For now though, we're gonna just play a mana pump and force him to come into us, which is basically the game plan of all heavier decks. He's gonna be playing Dark Knight, we're gonna kite it with a... with a Brute, very very standard things. We're gonna be playing Bullets here, and unfortunately we won't get a huge Brute push because this Brute is frankly dead. We won't be even having a good uh, Mother Devil value because uh, 
this T-Rex will take her... Okay, he, this T-Rex will die preemptively, so he will be forced to play something else against that. And right now I'm gonna actually play a Super Devil against that, because Super Devil plays properly will full a full uh, Skeleton Keg, and then I kinda messed it up. It should be in the middle, so... Like you see, there's always a room to Im for improvement. He's gonna be playing twins on the opposite side. Very likely that he's gonna support it with Dark Knight. I'm gonna play just a longsword against that. Hopefully it will take care of it. And right now I'm gonna be having just two pushes on two different sides and he'll have to address both because they are both lethal. I'm gonna delete this piercing archer and right now he will have to address this mother devil. At s okay, he actually played very well defense. But he used also a lot of spells, so I'm gonna play another mana pump and take the advantage. Also, my brute connects onto the tower and he's uh, not here to stop that. And right now, I'm gonna try to actually prove that this interaction is possible, that you stop the... Okay, my super devil once again mistargeted. Mm. It happens. I'm gonna play another mother devil in the back. And right now, we are gonna having actually so much mana that we are gonna be playing uh, two, pu two big pushes at the both sides and I don't see the word where he stops it. I think he just uh, quit the game and that's gonna be a good wraparound for today's video and a mini tutorial how to play these heavier decks. All in all, I think this deck is pretty solid but like you've seen, I've had uh, some very similar variation and I think my variation is uh, b better suited for my playstyle. Fembo obviously playing uh, way more with Mother Devil and Devils in general because these troops are very good in this game. And yeah, I'm gonna actually stop uh, with uh, this on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, explanation of the deck and gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it because it's gonna be very likely that you're gonna subscribe to my, to my YouTube channel to see more videos coming in the very near future. And as always, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.